Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm standing outside the Etihad Stadium with Father, my friend, you're staying in Manchester tonight, it's a draw, 1-1, one, one. are you going to be going home, well, to your hotel disappointed, or are you going to be partying tonight? I can't lie, I'm still a bit gutted, I'm still a bit gutted, we've got ample of chances that we've, we've got a nick to win, you know, we've got ample of chances, but football is about 90 minutes overall. It's about 90 minutes, but I feel like the moment St Sterling came off, it ruins kind of everything now because we have to park the bus, we have to sit deep into a back five. That is the causing the issue from the beginning. Secondly, as well, I thought Poch really overthinking things by by subbing on Chaloba. I don't know who he, he came on, but it's just kind of ruined the momentum of our defensive structure yeah. because I thought I thought we looked magnificent wise with the sassy. Play like a monster today, but I'm gutted, man. I'm gutted. It was great seeing De Sassi and Colwell starting together. I mean, that's what the fans have been asking for. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that not only not only De Sassi and Colwell, but you have to give props to the entire team because I thought overall they nullify Man City attacks from the um, from the minute one until the minute eighty at least. And I I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Bosch got to take some responsibility for what happened today as well because. Not only you bring on some random players like Cassidy on, but also you just ruin the, the rhythm of our attack now. And it's it's kind of baffling, but at the same time, it's a mass, massive cost for us. It's a two two big points lost today. We could have been sat at least ninth at this time now. And now we're about five points off the sixth place and 12 points off now, about top four now. It's just baffling, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I do just want to quickly give a quick shout out to the sponsors for this video, Match Bingo, guys. The link is in the description. You can probably already guess what it is. It's bingo, but it's to do with football. So instead of having numbers, one, two, three, whatever, mm -hmm. it's going to be goals, yellow cards, offsides, things like that. Cross out your lines. You can win some really good money. The great thing about this as well, Father, yeah. is it's actually capped with it's what you can it. spend. So if people feel like they're a bit irresponsible, um, responsibly, don't forget that. That's it, then then it works well. You've got to be over 18. Check the link in the description, guys. If you've already missed out, just play for the next game week, exactly. all right? Um, now, Father, mate. Mm. Poch. Yeah. Does he, does he not deserve a little bit more credit because of the way we set up? Or is it ultimately, listen, we did well when we started off. That's great, but you fucked it up. You killed our rhythm. I think the, the pressure moment came when when he took off Sterling. I, I don't think that Sterling wasn't that bad today as well. And and also he's selling off Cole Palmer for Chalabai. Is that, isn't that correct as well? I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. I understand he got a yellow card that he he was being too cautious. Yeah, at the same time, it's just kind of ruined the, the right hand side, the flank wise. We're being too exposed because I don't see much movement from Kyle Walker a lot. We, he's been getting locked up by Ben Chilwell defensively as well. As soon as Sterling came off, Carl Walker had more freedom in the, in the right-hand flank as well. And then, it's just, I feel like in that kind of pressure moments, we, we kind of crumble a bit, you know? And I'm gutted for the boys because for today as well, AD, for the boys, you know what? I thought they look magnificent-wise, yeah? They look magnificent, but at the same time, I think in this kind of pressure moment, they will learn a lot, and that is where the... The coaching was the experience a bit more from Posh than he needs to came in and credit to the last today and the fact that <laughs> not a lot of people like look look how many people travel up here. I've, I've asked some people like are they expecting more coming from this game before this game like they're expecting a loss and we came out here for a draw and if I was Man City fan I would have been disappointed the way that celebrated at the full time they they think that they were they were too arrogant. They were too arrogant, and they getting carried away with it with this with this league, and they were, and basically we just ruined the kind of like the title race kind of still still on for them, but at the same time for us, boy, I don't know where where we where we're gonna be end up though because next week is a massive game as well. We'll see what happens, man. But listen, father, always a pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. I would do a longer interview, but I've got so many people. Waiting. Oh my life, man. We should talk about this in the podcast a little, a little bit more, you know, because me and Lewis have kind of had argument about this um, pushing on art in, in some ways. You know, I feel disappointed by Lewis. He didn't even show up today, but yeah, he, he missed big away days today. Thank you very much, mate. Always.